doing another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for y'all today. Now, I know y'all are seeing this all over YouTube right now, more than likely, but you know what? I gotta make a video of it. Today is a huge day for multiplayer zombie, no matter what you play, whatever, no matter what you're, what you prefer playing, this is a huge day for the Call of Duty community. Uh, the patch that came out today that, well, I'm going to be a share from the patch notes. Go ahead and start off with multiplayer real quick to build that out of the way. Uh, in multiplayer, everyone has now received the Nuketown camo, reticle, and DLC map. It's free now. Everyone is allowed to play it. Huge thing for the multiplayer community as well with the multiplayer. Uh, the 100% calling card for completing 100% of multiplayer challenges has now been fixed. It's been patched. The, the glitch where you wouldn't get the calling card for it is now patched. You, anyone who has gotten 100% multiplayer will now have their calling card. Uh, and when it comes to maps and stuff, the only thing I've really edited out of map glitches, you know, same-o, same-o. The only guns they nerfed that I'm aware of are the MR6 pistol, which they've actually nerfed it, lowering the fire rate on it. And the ICR, which you'll never guess if they umped up the accuracy on it again. That thing was already a laser, and now it's just... I haven't really used the ICR in multiplayer, but their Treyarch definitely pushed me to want to try it because I haven't really used it too much. But uh, but it for multiplayer. We're gonna go move on to zombies now, y'all. On zombies, the reason this is such a big day is for several reasons. First of all, liquid diviniums are now unlimited. For any of y'all who try going for high rounds like I do, you'll know going around 50, 60, 60 plus, and only getting two liquid diviniums is one of the most annoying things ever. You've bought the box a gazillion times to every perk and down a couple times to you bought your perks. You spent tons of hundreds of thousands of points. Still only get two liquid viniums. It's a really annoying thing of zombie uh, about zombies. But they fixed it now. You will get unlimited. You know, say you're getting bored of the game, you're on around 70, got hundreds of thousands of points. Just go ahead, save a zombie, spend all those points on the mystery box. You'll get 30, 40, 50. 60 fucking liquid diviniums per game. It's amazing. It's, I love this so much. Another thing they fixed, or not fixed, but patched, is that you will now be able to purchase gobble gums multiple times in one round. Uh, on top of that, there is no... For those of y'all who play the Rising Rock, you'll know it's really annoying when you're trying to get a... Perkaholic out of the gumball machine. You use the one in the spawn room two times or so, and then it'll change to a different location. That is now fixed because gobble gums machines all around the map are all full of gobble gums. There's not one you have to go to now. They are all full, and you are allowed to purchase them multiple times per round. Now the catch side to that is every time you purchase a gobble gum, it becomes infinite, not infinite, but a lot a more expensive. I'll go ahead and open a door over here real quick and show y'all exactly what I mean. As you can see, it is at every one now. I have the gobble gum once. I'm not going to trade anything, but... I'll go ahead and activate it. Y'all can see that was 500 points. Check some zombies. Oh, damn. Can I die? And then I go to go use it again, and it is 4,500 points to hit it again. Now, this... That score is fluctuating. I know my first time I did it, I was 1,500 in my last game. And then I just did it again, or the other game, and it was 2,500, now it's 4,500. I don't know when that score stops going up, but you are allowed to hit it multiple times in one game. Now, a couple other things they patched was that in Shadows of Evil, parts are now team parts, to where if you pick up a gobble, uh, worm, and say you want to troll your team and not place it down, you can't do that anymore because your teammate can place it down. It's the whole team shares it. If any piece anyone picks up. Uh, another thing with Shadows of Evil is that the rituals are now, they take l a lot less time to do. I think it's was subtracted by like 20 some odd seconds for four player co op. So that's really helpful for people who are trying to go for the main Easter egg. I still haven't done, by the way, if anyone would like to do Shadows of Evil Easter egg, have a mic and it has like a, you know, I'm not saying you have to be a genius with zombies, but just kind of know what they're doing. Go ahead and hit me up. Uh, Gamertag Fatal's Corrupted, same as my YouTube channel. Uh, go ahead and hit me up in PSN. I would love to do it. I haven't found people to do it yet with, and I don't want to go on pubs to do it because it's just a bad idea. Uh, for Derizon Druck, they didn't update much with the map wise. 
They've mastered, they've uh, patched a couple of death barriers. You now can no longer get the infinite DG40. You guys have didn't know beforehand, there was this glitch where you can get infinite DG40s. It was just like a secondary weapon that you used. It was really overpowered, but they didn't end up patching that with this patch. And you also cannot get your... Some ways you couldn't get your bow back when using Arms Grace. A couple of other small things they patched. This is along the lines of multiplayer and zombies wise. Uh, long shots for the crossbow will now count if uh, you are using dual wood beforehand. Using dual wood would completely mess it up and it just wouldn't work. Uh, wow, that really just sucked. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all, I know a lot of people don't actually read the patch notes, and people don't actually know what's going on with the patches, so I just wanted to share that with y'all, make sure y'all knew what was going on with the patches and everything. Uh, this will be uploaded tomorrow, the day after the patch, and then I will have another video getting uploaded the next day. I am sorry for my lack of uploads, y'all, it's just I have not, I haven't been doing very good, you know, I have not been able to get good gameplays for y'all to upload, nothing special has been happening, just haven't... I guess I'm just getting a little picky about my uploads, but uh, I'll start trying to upload two or three times a week now, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's about it, y'all. Uh, this has been your boy Corbin, aka Fatal Scrapped here. Hope I helped you out.